I would have issue. I had an interview on Nas. Someone to cut you off. On Nas Seven Point One, he had an interview. In his defense, a lot of songs are old. He didn't do it to this era. He had his songs put away. He said, he said that, bro. Bro, I heard him say, bro. I'm not, bro. I'm being up, bro. You know how we talk. I heard him say it on um, um, Ebo, who I told you was I look up to Ebo kind of on them journalistic. That Nas said a lot of these songs were old songs he forgot about. So I don't know which is old, which is new. So, 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 my, so no, my base of the story for you to even say that about Nas means that he was just, even if they was new, he still was saying the same content yeah, that's that it. he gave us in, nine, you know, in the 90s. So he was just supposed to just up his literature because he's a fucking genius. Oh, he's Way a big um, I, I, I want him to just bust their ass. Right, well, but, so now back to the story. If Jay Z came out right now, he'd have killed these little niggas. Now Jay don't fuck around. Hey, no, nigga, he would have, nigga, I, I got you little dumb. dumb shit. They're like, oh my. I think coming. So that's it. So at the end of the day, I love Nas. I just know he, you know, us Queens niggas, when we good in our element. Hey that's man, bottom line is this. I'm talking about shit wrong. I mean, wrong argue. Jay Z and Nas again. I think it's the best. Nas is top five lyrics of all time. Now, there's something else. Now, mm -hmm. Ron. Is so embarrassed about this topic. Not embarrassed, beyond embarrassed. <laughs> What's up, Ron? Ain't got respect sealing up much coffins like Chris's. I'd have sealed your shit. If Molly would have made that motherfucking beat, nigga, I'd have sealed your fate. But then we wouldn't be as famous as we are now, because I'd have just dropped you, and then it would have been like, well, that's over with. Fuck MC Shan. MC Shan, MC Shan, Ron feels embarrassing queens. He wears an old stocking cap like a motherfucker walk, like a motherfucker pour hot cocoa on that shit. First of all, Ron Karras one is a way better MC than MC Sham. Ron agree. Ron, you from Queens? I'm beat. He just kept the real. Ron don't like. He's very bitter. He said he started the rapping Jamaican rapper. Well, that, what I no, said hold on, Ron. Fuck, I'm gonna I'm gonna get yours. Come out to you're a DJ. Do you remember, from your opinion, who started the rap in Jamaica? Was it Curtis One or MC Shan? For what you remember? From what I remember, and I'm not—I don't know if I'm right, but from what I remember, Curtis One. Da, 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 and then Ron said the same thing. This is KRS1. The new crack dealer by the name of Peter had to buck him down with my nine millimeter. He said I had his girl. I said, No, what to you, stupid? But he tried to play me out, and KRS1 knew it. He reached for his pistol, but it was just a waste. Cause my nine millimeter was up against his face. He pulled his pistol anyway, and I filled him full of lead. But just before he fell to the ground, this is what I said. Talking about money? No, Mitch, Mitch, no money, Mitch. Got his money because he did smoke. The performer, you're a white dude that's saying all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mitch Mitch wanted a shout out for the white dude. But he, he was good, he was good all night. Uh, she was good. He, Mitch was good all night. No, no, but my he question was always smoke. But my, 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 my flush. My question to you, flush, is that Mitch, my man, Mitch always jump out there. Mitch, he's doing good with us. Mitch, doing great today. Mitch, be bugging today. So now my point is, Ron sent me a lot of videos. Ron loved Queens. Like I love Manhattan. Ron would die for his borough. I die for my borough too. Bronx, and the Bronx. Ron would, that's because your lady is from the Bronx. But I'm a queen. I love my hat and I, I die for it. But Ron was calling me. I said, what's wrong? Gee, MC Shen is embarrassing my borough, man. He's so <laughs> mad at the world. He's still talking about this Karis One shit. And I try to take up with him. Ron said, Gary's no compare. Karis One got a hit after hit after hit after hit. <laughs> MC Shan got one record, G. <laughs> so, we got my man. <laughs> Flux, like, damn. And y'all go for Queens. Oh, actually, one, two, oh, I'm five against one. <laughs> so, listen, listen, here's, here's what I said. I, I, I'm proud of Shan. Don't shit quote this shit, motherfucker. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm proud of Shan and the contributions that he had. For the you know, I'm upset that Shan looks bitter. It's kind of like when we talk about you and we be like, yo. We don't, you ain't better, but you don't want to look better. I don't want to look better, yeah. Right. Sometimes I feel like Shan looked bitter, and he was in the wall, and you know, he took that. I, I, I need his ashes. I'm going to sit him about 
50,000 hey, yeah. And you would like for him to change his hats. That's, that's hat your thing. Hat the condom hats to match the shirt. He said the other day, like that. yo, Kara, this is Ron. How long was that that's battle? Him. That's it. I'm from my too, what I want to say. Yo, quick, you're going to protect me. No, how many years ago was that battle, Ron? I'm not protecting them. How long was that battle? How many years ago was that battle? Whatever the beef. It was a lot of years ago. I was a kid. I was 12. Might be longer than that. No, no. I was 12. It's like 30. Three years ago. So why is he okay. still talking about this shit? Because uh, KRS One was on Fat Joe's podcast, and he was telling the story. He ain't seen Big Ass. Oh, no, bitch, I can't get that. You from Queens? Bitch is rude. I you don't know think don't fucking KRS One got us? I know KRS One got us. No, 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 no,